uh, a third of 2022 is already over. Yeah, a third. With January to April having made great movies to come out, such as The Northman, Apollo 10 and a half, The Batman, Bubble, X, Everything Everywhere All at Once. But now that it's May, uh, let's talk about another great film to come out recently. And by recently, I mean a week, because I, I was busy. Yeah, I'm busy, okay? I can't do this the day after. And I really wanted to talk about this sooner, but by when it came out, it had um, not that many views, but now it's a lot. So it's not like I need to spotlight this or anything. But that doesn't mean I don't want to talk about it, and you'll know why in a bit. So, with all that said... The SpongeBob SquarePants movie Rehydrated, a recreation from more than 300 animators doing a different scene in their eye style of the original movie that came out in 2004, which was the year I was born. 18 years ago. And now I'm 18. Anyways, I know quite a bit about this movie though, but for the one or two people who don't understand, basically on YouTube or Newgrounds, you can see Map Projects, which stands for a Multiple Animators Project which in different animators will recreate scenes from a specific clip, sometimes an entire episode of a show they watch, and even sometimes a full-blown movie as they did with Shrek, Shrek We Told. That one not only had each scene recreated, but all the voices and music were redone with original voices and interpretations, still faithful to the original script and story, which is what this is. But, you know, with the Spongebob movie. And there's also a couple other things they changed, but, you know, afterwards. But you, you, you should just watch it. You, you know what? I'm just going to say this now. You should watch the movie. I'm sure you might be wondering if you have to see the original movie to understand this version. Um, kind of. I mean, you probably could still understand it, but the different animation styles will always be uncanny valley for people seeing the story for the first time. Of course, if you were interested in this, you probably saw the original movie, so... You know, I'm going to be reviewing this video a little differently when I go into the plot deeply, but I'm not reviewing this for the plot since this is meant to just recreate the original film story, which if I had any praises for the story or criticisms, that would be for the original movie, not this. And honestly, I would rather just promote the film than give any negative criticism, which is I being in the movie myself, I can say I could review this without being biased, but I just don't want to because I'm biased. Yes, I'm in the movie, and no, I didn't animate any scenes. I was a voice extra, which I'd done prior. And I've been in other things. Um, many people would know me, would know, but that's not the point. Uh, this is my first credited work in a movie, and I'm glad it could be this one. I mean, I'm in a movie, and here I am. I'm in a movie, and here I am. I'm thug number two, and that, the fish who says morning, the fish who says morning to Squidward. <laughs> you, you'll recognize my voice when you watch it. And I want to say thank you for letting me be in the movie. Uh, it was a great time meeting you people across this two-year journey. And when my age probably grew up with Spongebob, and the last Spongebob-related thing I saw was the Spongebob movie, Spongebob on the Run, which I liked more than ours, I know, but as much as I don't really care to watch new episodes of the show anymore, this movie came out on the 23rd anniversary of the first episode. And it is impressive it has lasted this long, even if it did go on for way too long, like The Simpsons. It proves people won't stop loving this cartoon. And those who do like The Simpsons, I'm sorry for saying that. I'm sorry for saying it's like, oh, it goes on for too long. Like, you know, you know what I mean. I might get older and not be interested in many things I was as a kid, but I don't look back at saying it's just kid stuff. SpongeBob had great humor, animation, imagination, and beloved characters. This movie is a true love letter for people who grew up with it like me. The voice acting for is awesome. Everyone's animation was unique and great. The mansion was well done. And despite every time I saw it get delayed, I knew they were working their hardest since any movie is hard to make, good or bad. And these people took two years to remake a movie already made. That says something. In the end, I praise everyone involved. And you can watch the movie for free on YouTube or Newgrounds right now. Thanks again for letting me be a part of this. And sure, I could have gone a bit harsher, I guess, for lack of a better word, if I really did want to, you know, be cynical. But I had a great time, and I hope those who haven't seen this movie yet will too, because, hey, sometimes it's good to just celebrate some things. That's my review. I'm just saying, you know, we should just celebrate things, because, you know, it's glad that some, it's glad that for things to just exist. That's my, that's my uh, hot take. Yeah.